Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly tech update, the show that explores the newest, coolest, and sometimes crazy side of tech available on the interwebs. I am your video game geek, Ray McNeil. Coming up on the program today, promoting the Atom Project, Ryan Reynolds put out a PSA for daylight savings with some familiar faces. A Bioshock-inspired shooter, Atomic Heart, gets a new trailer and finally, a release window. Happening in this week's What The, a guy moves into his cubicle at work as a matter of protest for not paying him enough. I didn't know that was an option. And we'll wrap up the program with this week's Moment of Joy. All that and a whole lot more coming up on today's edition of your weekly tech update, next. Hi everyone, promoting the Atom Project, Ryan Reynolds put out a PSA for daylight savings with some familiar faces, and we approve. Ryan and I have both played superheroes who time travel. And our new movie, Atom Project, is, is about time travel. Uh, so we felt obliged to do a public service announcement for daylight savings this weekend because we don't want you to miss our movie. There are no showtimes, Ryan. It's Netflix. Of course it is. Anyway, we wanted to make a PSA as epic as our film. And here's someone who knows a thing or two about time. Take it away. I know about time. I am 83 years old. To me, the years seem like minutes, yet I do not dwell in memories because life is about moving forward, not just into the future, into the unknown. This weekend, we will lose an hour, but maybe we will gain some perspective. So as we leap ahead to whatever life holds, let us grab hands and be brave, because despite what movies have taught us, we can't go back. Oh, God. Like a legend. God, I'm great. That was absolutely amazing. Christopher Lloyd is just a complete legend. and total legend. I still think Daylight Savings is so stupid. It's idiotic. Yep. Good news for Nintendo fans looking for a getaway next year. A Super Nintendo World is due to open in the U.S. Universal confirms its Hollywood Park will open its Nintendo Land in 2023. The expansion will be the first Nintendo-themed park in the U.S. after a similar one opened in Universal Studios Japan last year. No firm dates have been set for the park opening. A year's worth of window is pretty exciting. Though. Via the Los Angeles Times, the park will include a ride, an interactive area, and themed shopping and dining. The interactive portion will likely be Super Mario themed. Universal Studios Hollywood is also the home of a wizarding world of Harry Potter Park. While the contrast of Mario and Harry Potter seems strange, it definitely also makes a trip to the park seem pretty appealing. U.S. park goers who haven't been able to make the trip to Universal Studios Japan have only had photos to go by for ages now. Some even took to Minecraft to experience a version of it not too long ago. Having a Mario-themed park in the States is a big deal. I'm curious to see just how well the world of Mario and Pals translates to a theme park and whether I can freely punch blocks for coins in the park. An expansion is also expected in Orlando at some point, though uh, today's news was just about the Hollywood locale. Either way, it'll be a little easier for those in North America to enter the world of Nintendo next year.
Oh man, you gotta check out this new teaser trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi. It starts streaming the limited series May 25th on Disney+. Plus. The story picks up 10 years after the events of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, where Obi-Wan faced his greatest defeat, the downfall and corruption of his best friend and Jedi apprentice, Anakin Skywalker who turned to the dark side as evil Sith Lord Darth Vader. The series stars Ewan McGregor reprising his role as the Jedi Master and also marks the return of Hayden Christensen in the role of Darth Vader. The fight is done. We lost. Stay hidden. The key to hunting Jedi is patience. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. The Jedi code is like an itch. He cannot help it. Where is he? Obi-Wan Kenobi is directed by Deborah Chow and executive produced by Kathleen Kennedy, Michelle Rowan, Deborah Chow, Ewan McGregor, and Joby Harold.